It's very bracing. The rest of the day, you just feel like, you know, you feel so much better, so much more alive. Would you fancy doing this with the water at 11 degrees Celsius? Well, it's too cold for me, but for these swimmers at Parliament Hill in London, it's enjoyable. And that joy experienced by other swimmers here may have contributed to a scientific breakthrough. Taking part in a study with Cambridge University for the last three years, regular cold water swimmers here were found to have a protein in the blood known to be helpful in fighting dementia. What we found was that, that the protein goes up in the, in the swimmer's blood only and not in a group of people of the same age and social background doing Tai Chi by the side of the pool. What's great about this is that you get um, brain cells to um, keep their connections, which are so vital for memories and so vital for keeping the brain cells alive. So this is a sort of natural repair process that you're boosting. So it's very appealing. That repair process was first spotted in mice in the laboratory. Before now, scientists weren't sure if humans could produce the same proteins. This study has shown we can, which opens up other research avenues in the fight against dementia. Swimmers here today were keen on sharing what they thought about the news. So you're so relaxed in cold water and you're so kind of, I think it brings all your pressure, your blood pressure, everything down. So I wouldn't be surprised that it's got quite a few kind of hidden medical benefits. As you get older, the, the sense of sort of just, well, you know, keeping physically and mentally well, keeping active, just keeping as active as you can. You're so cold you can't even talk to me. Yeah, it's this kind of moment where you get a real rush, but I've got to move about because once you get out, your body temperature just plunges. That's kind of half the joy. Of course, cold water swimming isn't for everyone and it can be dangerous. But perhaps scientists will soon be thanking these brave few whose cold efforts potentially aided the lives of many. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.